to the channel. Today we're going to test out a new drone. That's right, the folks at Ruko have sent me this nice drone to check out. It's the F11 GIM2, uh, which the GIM2 means it has a two-axis gimbal. Uh, this is the box it come in. This is the, it comes in a hard case, semi-hard case. Let's go ahead and check out some of the things that come with it. Of course, you get the uh, manual that comes with it. You get a controller, obviously, and the drone itself. And you do get an extra battery. I have that over there charging right now. Now, the drone, uh, pretty much all you got to do is put the battery in after the battery's charged, and it's ready to go. Uh, you have to download the Ruko drone app. You will see me use that when we take this up and fly it here in a little bit. Uh, very simple download. Uh, you do need that to fly the drone. And uh, first thing you do, you're going to pull the top legs out, actually the front legs, and you'll fill them lock into place. Okay, that was the cover for the gimbal. It fell off. I didn't have it on good enough. And this is the drone. And this was the cover that just fell off the gimbal. As you can see, it has the two-axis gimbal right there. Okay, now that's the battery's already fully charged. Uh, we're going to take that out in a bit and fly it. And then you have the controller that it comes with. Now on the bottom of the controller, you'll have the little knobs for your joysticks. Uh, that you can take them off and store them there so they don't get broke. We're going to go ahead and screw these in here. And come around. It just screws in. Be pretty hard to fly it without them. You'd have to have some toothpicks to stick in there or something. So you want to make sure you don't lose them. And the drone, uh, it charges USB. They provide the USB uh, cables uh, that you charge with. The, the controller charges very quickly. Actually, the batteries for the drone charge rather fast, too. And with two batteries, you got a you know, half-hour flight time with each battery. So you, you, you can have a lot of fun in an hour. So it's going to have a protective film on the gimbal and this. I've already taken this out because... I'm not doing a video when I have not done it before. I might look like a fool. So that's what we got going on there. And uh, now, as I said, it has a two-axis gimbal. And it's, it's pretty good quality. You will see that. It, it's able to pitch downward, left, right. Uh, it also shoots in 4K. Now, this is a FAA-approved drone. So I want to make mention of that now. If you've never flown a drone, you just don't go outside and stick it in the air. You have to get on the FAA's website. And if you're going to be flying that just for pleasure, then all you have to do is make sure that it is registered. And then keep this with you. This is, you know, that you are registered with the FAA. FAA. And you also have to put a, either a sticker or take a Sharpie and mark the registration number on the drone itself. So that's it, and we're going to take it out, and we're going to go over some of the steps. Now, there's other, a lot of uh, other uh, videos on this drone, so I may not cover everything. Uh, it was very... I, I happened to order new cameras at the same time this came, so I'm trying to figure out my cameras, figure this out. <laughs> so, uh, probably not the best video. You guys be the judge. I just took it up. And uh, we, we had a little fun with it. Jeff was helping me do some camera work. Uh, this is, you know, every video that I've watched and I've found out for myself. And I've never flown one. So I don't know. People that have the DJIs, the higher end ones, uh, they, they, can, they say this thing's right up there with them. And I believe it. Uh, you know, it, it will go up, I think, two or three miles. And... And I took it all the way up 400 feet. You're not allowed to go past that. If you want to do anything more than that, then you need to go. Uh, they got a license that you got to apply for, take the test. But I'm never going to do that. So I'm never going to use it for anything but pleasure. So anyway, let's uh, let's get out there and see what you'll do. All right, guys. Let's get this thing in the air. Now, the first thing you do 
as you turn on the drone. It's going to make some music. And then I'm going to turn on the controller next. Let them connect. One short push. And one long push. Now it's powering on. And we're going to let them connect. And it's going to say uh, GPS mode. Now the phone doesn't even go, it doesn't go by your service provider uh, or even the internet. It just goes off the Wi-Fi signal. And that takes about 50 seconds to connect. Now we're connected. It says GPS mode. So we're going to go ahead and click on the controls here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the screen recorder so we can record the control screen. And we're recording. Yep. All right. Now we need to calibrate it. So I'm going to move my toggle sticks to 11 and 1. All right. Now that that's done, it's asking for me to calibrate the drone, which is simply picking it about a foot off the ground, rotating it until you hear it beep, and then vertical. And it beeped. I'm going to face this drone in the direction we're taking off. And uh, now the gimbal will uh, calibrate itself. And you see we're ready for takeoff. Everything's nice and level. And let me make sure that the screen recording is on. Yes, it is. And we're going to take off. Okay, now the gimbal is calibrating. And once that's done... We're going to fire it up by pushing this to five and seven. Well, the calibration ain't done. Well, it's asking me to calibrate the drone again. Okay. You only got to do that if you got one hand. <laughs> okay, now the gimbal. I think we're ready now. It's, it's done and leveled. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Took me a minute. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take off manually. First thing I want to do is get this out of beginner's mode. Because uh, it's it's... Always starts in beginner's mode. Turn that off. Well, okay. I don't know why the drone shut off, but I'm adjusting this. Okay, we're going to save that. All right, let's start it up again. All right, here we go. Now, maybe we can take off, you think? All right, let's bring it back down. I'm going to show you some of the features. If you want to go turn the drone, you use the left joystick. You go any way you pick it. Side to side on the right. Forward. And backwards. All right, we're going to take it up. We're going to fly over that way. Let me hit record on the camera. Well, we don't want a picture. And it will take still pictures like I just took. All right, let's put this on video mode. And we are recording. Let's take this dude up. I'm going to drive it forward a little so I can see it it's without craning my neck. Almost hit the tree, huh? Now, legally, I can go up to 400 feet. And we are at about 
400 feet uh, in meters is about 122 meters. So how about we leave it about right here and let's turn the drone towards the mountain. <coughs> and let's go for a ride. Let's turn it and go back that way. And you can see the distance. We're about 140, 160 meters. Okay. Let's just kind of look around here. Let me put the gimbal down a little bit. I seem to have lost the uh, connection. Right, let's try the return home feature right now. And the drone should turn around and come back and land where it started. And then we're going to take it up again. I had some difficulties getting things situated. So now you're going to see the drone show up here. Here it comes. It's a buggy and, and it should land pretty close to where it took off. Everything's automatic. Now she's coming down. <laughs> she ain't coming down. Oh, you got to bring it down. Okay, let's hit land. Just bring it down manually. Let's, let's look around a little bit. All right, another feature it has is point of interest. Let me see if I can get this to work. Open this up. And it does GPS follow. We'll do that in a second. Okay. So it's going to go up there, and then it's going to circle around. Okay. GPS follow, which is me. I have the controller, so wherever I go, I'm not going to go far because uh, I got trees. Take it up. There I am. It's following me.
and put the gimbal up a little. I'm well above any trees. Still following me. There I am. Okay. There I am, the little blue dot. Now let's get out of that mode. And just fly. Let's just do an altitude test here. Oh, I'm in beginner's mode. All right. Now it's off of beginner's mode. Let's go up real high. Let's go up to about 300 feet. I need to get out of this. All right, I can't get up the screen. Oh, me and apps don't get along, man. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right, let's let's go uh, take a look around up here. Get up there where the hawks fly. Wow, that's really cool. All right, we're at 118 meters. So we're almost to 400 feet. We're gonna leave it right there. And let's turn around real slow. Have a look around. Oh, I'm still in GPS follow. No wonder. Okay. I don't know how to get out of that. <laughs> well. There we go. Moving the gimbal. barely see it but I can't get out of this GPS follow in this app so until then I can't even turn the gimbal but we're up there a ways oh I think I know what to do just undo it okay now we got full control now let's turn around there we go let me do it slowly Put the gimbal back up. Look at that view. All right, now we got it on a slow spin. Just gotta push these toggles real slow, make it smooth. Now this is another reason, guys, I think we're pretty safe from tornadoes. It's not impossible, but we're just surrounded by mountains. So, all right, let's bring her down. meters and the reason you don't want to fly above 400 feet because commercial aircraft private aircraft manned aircraft uh, 500 feet is as low as they're allowed to fly so there's a hundred foot window between four four and five hundred feet 
And we do get military aircraft here often, and they fly low. Okay, we're still descending. Battery is still very good, almost full. Okay, I'm gonna drive it forward a little bit. Not up, forward, dude. Right here, we're gonna land her, bring her down low in between these trees. Wind's picking up, but it's flying pretty steady. These are not hard to fly, guys. Just gotta get used to it. Now I think there's something funny looking back there. Let's turn and see. What's so funny looking back there? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. That's Jeff giving me a hand with the camera work. But if you want to see something really good looking, oh, oh, oh right here. All right, guys. And this thing just has a ton of features that I haven't covered. There are so many videos on this drone. Look how smooth that is. Pretty cool. Let's go play with the dogs a little bit. We got battery. <laughs> Where's the boy at? There he is. Man, if you can't play with your dogs a little bit, you know. I'm the world's worst drone flyer. Not up. Last time up. Let's spin around now. And then we'll bring her home because the batteries are well, we've still got quite a bit of battery life. Thought I saw a bird. Oh. That's right above my property, guys. Beautiful day out.
All right, I'm going to bring her home. No, because I, I got it manually right now. I could do that. In fact, we'll leave it there. I'll go ahead and hit bringing it home. Then it will. Return home. See? I'm not sure if it's coming down or not. For some reason it don't. Well, that's pretty close. Well, that wasn't pretty. Did I break it? There we go. I was pushing it the wrong way to shut it off. Well, there you go, guys. Probably wasn't the best demonstration, but uh, this has not been an easy review. I'll put the link in the description if y'all are interested. Now, this drone is under $500. And it's right up there with DJI's. You watch all the reviews on them. And really nobody has nothing bad to say about it. So thanks for watching. Happy trails.